What's up YouTube? It's Peter with the Outdoor Adventures Team channel. Today I'm going to share with you part one of my install of the ProComp rock lights that are designed to go at the Smittybilt XRC inner fender liners. Let's see how it goes. As with any install, uh, we've got a little planning to do. So there's four spots that are pretty obvious. So this is inside the front fender liner. Um, rock light will sit right up in here. So easy fit um, and made for this light. But then i got to figure out where I want to put the other one. So I'm kind of thinking uh, one will probably go right about here to really light up the front uh, underneath the rig when I'm on the trail. And then I've got to find a spot for the one in the back as well. So in the back, I'm kind of thinking Maybe right here, which is the drain plug for where uh, the jack compartment is underneath. So I'm going to give that a look and see if that ends up being a winning spot to tuck that light under here. So I got started, I installed the lights on the other side, so then the rear and the front. Um, and a couple things became pretty clear. So one of them is a little bit of a duh. Um, it's a lot easier to, to install the light on the fender before you put the fender in. Um, however, I'm working around that. It's, it's possible to do it. Um, the other thing that is probably noteworthy is that um, if you watch the video of the install, I actually used uh, self-tapping screws on the fender liner versus the kind of riv nut hardware that they gave me, uh, which really helped save me. So I did that because I thought I may want to remove these fenders at some point. And so what that allowed me to do in the rear fender, which we'll get to in a little bit, is unscrew parts of it so that I can pull it down and more easily install the light. And then another thing is that you know, although the cutout is pretty nice in the XRC fender for the Pro Comp light, it's clearly designed to work together. They didn't collaborate a lot on the design, the fit very much, or the hardware. So as you can see here, this small washer is the washer that the hardware came with. Um, and what I found is on the other side, as I kind of went to tighten it down a little bit, this washer pulled right through the fender and kind of crimped the metal a little bit. So I actually went and got a number 10 washer, uh, slightly bigger. Um, to put a little more uh, against the back side of the fender so it doesn't pull through. So let's take a look at what it looks like to install this with the fender liner in. All right, so I'm gonna start by threading the light through the rubber grommet that hooks right to the Jeep. It's kind of a funny design. Um, the hole for the liner and the hole for this grommet are both centered, but in the light itself, the wire comes out of one side, so it's a little strange, but um, they put this little channel in the rubber grommet so that you can angle it in there. And then <clears throat> drop in the hardware and my slightly larger washer. And then I'm just using a uh, eight mil socket and a three mil Allen wrench. Uh, that's pretty much all you need. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So we'll jump in here. This is the part that was uh, a little rough on the other side where it pays to have this installed before you do the fender. Alright, well, after standing on my head for a while, I've decided I've got to kind of back out some of this fender a little bit. So I've got to undo a few bolts and a screw, um, and that'll give me, I think, enough access to get my hand in there and get to the back side of the rock light. So we got the fender down. Now I can reach the back side of this light way easier. So this is the right move. And again, using self-tapping screws instead of rib nuts really saved me on this. Uh, otherwise I'd be having to drill a bunch of stuff out. And that wouldn't be fun. All right, so now it's really just two screws and we're, uh, we'll be able to put the fender back up. All right, so moving around to the back here. Uh, the rock light fits in the fender um, here on the front side of the wheel well. So same thing, just gonna feed it through. Uh, disconnected the fender a little bit so I got some space 
and go ahead and just mount it up. All right, so we got all four rock lights installed in the wheel wells. So you can see this one that we just worked on tucked up in there. And we'll come over here. And you can see the one in the front. And now we're gonna move on to the bonus one. So this kit came with six and I'm gonna install one up front. So I'm thinking right on that bar there. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so I think in here is gonna be a good spot for that light. This is my trail cam. So this fifth light is gonna project forward really nicely. So really all it's a matter of just measuring this bar, finding the center, and then mounting up the grommet and, and drilling through the bar a bit. So pretty easy, um, let's, let's jump in. really good finished up it's actually probably a little more centered than my trail cam even can't wait to see what that light looks like when I hit the trail so pretty happy with it all right we're gonna crawl under the back of the Jeep here So there it is, hooked up right here. Um, it wouldn't quite go through the drain plug like I was hoping it might, so put it right behind it. And with the rubber grommet, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Make sure and spray behind it so it doesn't start to get any rust back there, but I think we're in a pretty good location. I can't wait to see this thing light up. All right, well, now we've got all six lights installed, two in one in the front, one in the back, and all four fender wells. So I'm really liking how they're looking. They're in there really tight. I uh, can't wait to see the light on the trail. It's gonna be awesome at nighttime. So we're going to do round two of the video with the wiring side of it. Uh, they did not do us any favors with the instructions in the wiring, and I'm only medium at wiring, so this could be quite an interesting thing. Um, but I'm going to have to run some junction boxes and uh, get it all hooked up to the switch. So stay tuned for part two. And if you like what you're seeing on our channel, please like and subscribe. Feel free to ask comments. Uh, we love the interaction. Thanks so much.